are back on site. Chromat's down. We'll also put some curdy there, so waterproof in this section when you first step out. All the prep is done, we gotta screed this wall, and we use the proper material. In this case, we use Webcrete 95, which is a patch material. And as, as of right now, it's the only patch material that's made for a wet area on vertical surfaces. Not horizontal like a shower floor, but vertical walls, just fine. But we gotta lay it out. We're gonna have a full top on the, off the bottom approximately, and we're taking a little bit off at the top. With a knit, uh, shelf over here, niche somewhere in this section right there. That's right, we're gonna start uh, setting this off. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be setting this tile on these shower walls. Uh, this is a porcelain tile, kinda has like a chisel ed edge, looks like a travertine stone. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my cuts first. So that way, once I start setting, everything's ready to go. We don't have thin set sitting in the bu bucket drying up. So pre-cut in the bottom pieces here. <clears throat> okay, now I got all my pieces pre-cut. Ready to start setting. I'm using a half inch by half inch by half inch square notch trowel. Uh, it's one of my preferred trowels for any towel 12 by 12 or bigger. It's a lot out on the market these days. You can get really crazy with the different patterns, the collapse riches, this, that, and the other thing. But at the end of the day, use what you're comfortable with, with and what's going to get you as close, if not, you know, 100% coverage of a pin set motor on the tile. Because proper coverage of uh, mortar on your tile is going to make or break the insulation in the long run. So, as always, first thing I like to do is key in the substrate and with a flat sided trowel. Unfortunately, uh, a lot of guys in the trades, I would say uh, hmm, probably 70% of them don't even like to do this. Because, you know, it, it does take more time, but, you know, you're going to get a lot better, more, a lot better bond with the mortar when you key it in. Because when you think about it, if you just use the notch side of the trowel, you're keying it in, but only on the part that's actually touching the substrate. So when you have a notch, you have, you know, in this trowel, you have a half inch gap between them. And a part that's just kind of floating over it, it will bond, but it's not gonna bond anywhere near the same if you use a flat side and you really press it in there hard. Now, a lot of guys kind of confuse too that between keying in, they kind of take the flat side trowel and they kind of float right over the substrate. You don't want to be floating over. You just want to have a little bit of mortar and you want to press it in firmly. That way you get a good bond. It actually makes it easier. When you do do the uh, keying of the mortar on the substrate, when you go to notch it, you could do it one time, one way, and it's already bonded. So you're not sitting there going this way and that way and this way and that way with the notch side to get it to stick. One time with the key inside, with the flat side, keying it in, then one side with the notch side, and you're gonna be ready to go. Okay, the rest of the video is pretty much gonna be time lapse of this install. Um, one thing to mention too, if you can see by that tile lean up against the, the right wall there, this tile was nearly half inch thick. So, you know, half inch is 8 16 This was 1 16 shy, this is 7 16 so every cut on, on this shower here, on these shower walls, was with, 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 with a wet saw. I mean, took a lot of time. We weren't able to use a snap cutter. But that's fine. You know, every job's going to be a little bit different. You have to use a little bit different tools here and there, more or less time. So make sure when you're doing projects like this, you have a good idea what kind of tile you're working with before you tell the clients, you know, what it's going to cost because, you know, you don't want to do a job that you know you think you could do a grinder snap cutter you have to do everything on wet so it might take more more time so it's not a huge time difference but it is going to take a little bit more time so if you're a contractor out there watching this you know ideally if you can see the tile before you you know you start the project or give the person a uh, price for the job it's a good idea you know we don't always have that luxury but you know do what you can do the best job you can and go from there other than that, everyone out there, we really appreciate you tuning into my videos here. And as always, uh, every single day of your life, make sure you have fun because you never know what's going to be your last. Have a good one, guys.